Rahab's Story Rahab was a Canaanite woman living in Jericho, yet she showed remarkable faith in Yahuwah. Despite her people's opposition to Israel, she declared her belief that Yahuwah had given the land to the Israelites. She told the spies, I know that Yahuwah has given you the land, which is found in Joshua 2.9, and recounted how the people of Jericho feared Israel because of Yahuwah's mighty acts. Her faith in Yahuwah, despite being a foreigner, demonstrates that true faith is not limited by ethnicity or background. Rahab hid the two spies from Israel who were sent by Joshua to scout Jericho. At great personal risk, she misdirected the king's men to protect the spies, helping them escape to the city safely. Rahab's bravery in choosing to side with Yahuwah's people over her own demonstrates her courage and dedication to Yahuwah's plan. This act of faith showed her willingness to trust Yahuwah more than the power of her own city. Rahab asked the spies to spare her and her family when Israel conquered Jericho, saying, Give me a sure sign that you will spare the lives of my father and mother, my brothers and sisters, which is found in Joshua 2, 12-13. The spies agreed, instructing her to tie a scarlet cord in her window as a signal of protection. This act of mercy reflects Yahuwah's compassion, showing that anyone who turns to him in faith can be saved, regardless of their background. Rahab's story reaches far beyond Joshua too. She is later included in the bloodline of Yahusha. As she becomes the mother of Boaz, who married Ruth, through Rahab's line came King David, and ultimately the Messiah, highlighting her unique role in Israel's history and the redemptive plan of Yahuwah. Rahab is also mentioned in Hebrews 11.31 and James 2.25 as a model of faith in action, demonstrating how her story became a testimony of faith and inclusion in Yahuwah's covenant. As a Canaanite woman with a checkered past, Rahab's inclusion in Israel's story represents Yahuwah's ability to redeem anyone who turns to him. Her story shows that Yahuwah promises and extends to all who believe, not just those who are born into Israel. Rahab's transformation from an outsider to a pivotal figure in Israel's story underscores that Yahuwah's love and mercy is available to all who seek Him. In summary, Rahab's significance lies in her faith, courage, and the redemption she experienced. Her actions demonstrate that faith in Yahuwah can change one's destiny, and her story stands as a powerful testament to the inclusion and transformation possible in Yahuwah's covenant. And that's Rahab's story. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you learned something new.